in order to grade your project, I need to actually see your project. So we're going to just do a really quick tutorial on how to take a good picture of mainly two-dimensional work. We'll talk about three-dimensional later when we need it. But for right now, we're just going to talk two-dimensional. So for this, we're going to use the camera app. Now, I have it pinned down here at the bottom right here. If it's not pinned for you, which it's probably not, you're going to have to find it or you can search for it. Okay. Now I'm going to open that up. And so I have, this is my space. All right. This is the picture that I want. This is not a good way to take the picture. First things first, make sure that your background is plain. So like your floor, don't put it on a crumpled up blanket because then it's not going to be flat. You want flat and you want plain. So get all this extra stuff out of the way. We don't need that. Now, my picture is kind of long, so I could take it this way or I could rotate it and take it this way and then just rotate the picture later. Now, I'm going to move it because I have that little thing in the corner there. And your goal is to try to take as straight of picture as possible. So this can get kind of tricky, but don't take a picture like this. Don't take it like this. Nice and straight as possible. Take your picture. And now I have to go edit it. So once you're in this setup, you're going to click edit, which is in the upper right hand corner. And my picture, I can already tell, needs to be rotated. So in order to rotate it, I need to click on this button right here and then click on that right up there. That rotates it for me. Now, I also can tell I need to crop it. So if you move these things in the corners, you can crop. If my paper was important, I would keep it. But for me, it's not. That's extra space. So I am going to crop like this. Try to make it nice and even. Doesn't have to be perfect, but do your best. All right. And then I can see mine's a little crooked. So this bar over here, I'm going to rotate it just ever so slightly. So it's a little bit more straight. Now I'm going to mess with my colors. So to mess with my colors, I click on this one right here. There are a lot of different options. There's exposure, there's brilliance. I would suggest staying away from auto because it doesn't really do all that great. But the ones that you most likely will be messing with are your shadows, your contrast, and your brightness, also your highlights, all right? You might also need to mess with, it's called warmth, because depending on what kind of light you use, it's gonna change your color. So for example, if I go up or down, it's going to change it if it's warmer or cooler. So depending on like if you have cooler, like white lights at home or at the school we have kind of, they make everything look a little bit yellower, you might have to mess with that. So I am just going to mess with my picture until it, your goal isn't to make it look all cool and filtered. Like don't go like this. That's not, that doesn't look anything like the original. Your goal is to make it look as close to the original as possible. Okay. So I am looking, you can't see it because it's not on my screen, but I am looking at the original while I'm editing, all right? And that is telling me, okay, it looks like I need to make my shadows a little bit darker. I might need to go to, uh, we, we don't need any of these ones down here. I just wanted to make sure we had those. All right, I think I might need to make my brilliance a little bit more. So that looks pretty close to the original. So this one's good to go. All I have to do now is click done and it is ready to be sent off to Miss Cobart for grading.